Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea and today I have my second update for Set It Free in 23. This is a project that Deb created. That is Deb B here on YouTube. So this started on December 20th, 2022 and it runs till December 20th, 2023. And the premise is to pick 23 items that for whatever reason you're just not really working on or you just want to like kind of get them out and work on them. You are allowed to put them in other projects. I'm not going to do that simply because if it's in a project, theoretically, I'm already using it. So it doesn't really work for me to put it in other projects, but I know like Deb's done it with some of her stuff and it's worked for her. So if that kind of thing works for you, that is totally okay. But the catch is, well, there's two catches really. The first catch is whatever of the 23 items you pulled in, that you don't finish by the end of the project, you either have to donate it or throw it away. Um, in my case, I picked all like pretty old makeup, so none of this is gonna get donated if I don't finish it. It's all gonna go in the garbage. I hope it's not gonna come to that for most of these, but some of these are definitely um, not going to be finished. The other catch is that, so first, this is supposed to be going up on the 20th. I'm late as usual because I, was so busy with work and I just didn't have a free moment to film anything. So I figured instead of skipping two updates in a row, I'll just film late. So the other catch is that you have to pick 23 non-beauty makeup items to declutter from your house every month as well. So I have, I have a big pile of, there's definitely more than 46 items in there because I have stuff from last month and stuff from this month, but I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I'll maybe I'll do like Deb and just take some pictures at and insert them at the end because I don't want to hold up like everything and show, you don't care what I'm decluttering. It's just the fact that I'm decluttering stuff. So anyway, now that it's been way too long explaining how this project goes, we're just gonna get into it. I don't have anything that's empty. I do have one thing that I'm decluttering though from my makeup. First, I have my Becca backlight priming filter. I, I really love this. Obviously you can't get it anymore. I'm pretty sure this was something I got at TJ Maxx. So it's already on like the older side. My goal is to finish it. I mean, if, if we go by the windowing, I'm right here after nine uses. I mean, I'm, I'm not, this is not a product I'm worried about finishing in the least. This product, however, this is my Bath and Body Works Cherry Blossom Eau de Toilette. I mean, I've only got five uses on it. So um, I, I have a I have a sneaking suspicion that one's gonna it's gonna be getting tossed at the end of the year. Then I have my Sonia Kashuk Perfecting Luminous Foundation. Obviously old because it's been years since Sonia Kashuk did makeup. This is in the shade vanilla. I have to see if I can get my handy dandy little losing it. I keep having to make new ones. You think I just... Oh, here it is. Kind of. I think I just like leave this in a spot where I can grab it easily. Let's see. So, there's... I mean, this is also bent. Okay, well, that's... <laughs> that's probably not the most accurate, but... I, I mean, this is more than halfway gone. So I've got seven more uses on it, or not seven more. So I've got seven uses on it since the beginning of this project. I I don't think I'll have a problem completing that one. It's just there's like two or three foundations I've got right now that they literally have like a week's worth of use or less on them. And I'm really trying to get those out so I just don't have to worry about them anymore. So it's kind of on the back burner. Next, I have my NYX Full Coverage Concealer in Light. I use this pretty much every single time I do my makeup, and this already had pan in it before I brought it in, but I've got 58 uses on it from the project so far. I mean, you can see there's not a huge amount of pan, but hopefully you can tell, like, I'm really... The well is deep and wide. <laughs> that makes... If that makes sense, you you get it. A lot of the product is now like around the sides. I mean, so I'm working at it. I use it almost every day. 
This is more, this is not an under eye concealer. It's way too heavy for that. This is an, a nose and like if I have spots, that's what this is for. So I only use a little bit, but I think I will get that finished. My hair is bothering me. I'm probably just going to end up putting it up. Then I have one of my Julep blush sticks. This is in the shade Moonlit Sand. I use this as a cream highlighter. This is rolled all the way down. So, I mean, I haven't even like flattened it out. I've got 14 uses on it. It's a little dark, but I mean, it's technically is supposed to be a blush stick. It's too light for a blush stick, but as like a base for maybe some lighter highlighters or for the other highlighter, the powder highlighter that I have in here, it works well. So 14 uses on that. This is I'm not going to like use that entire thing up before the end of the project, but as long as I get some use on it, then this is kind of exciting. I have my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in No Vacancy, and I've got eight uses on this since the beginning of the project, and I have pan in it, so that's super exciting. This is nothing, like nowhere near to being anything that I will be able to realistically finish this year, but the fact that I have pan in it is very exciting to me. So there's that. And this one, this is quite old. Like obviously it still packs a punch and everything, but the, it feels more like a stiff putty, like not like it's dried out, but it doesn't feel like the kind of almost wet super shock feeling, but this also is a matte. So like the formulas I feel are a little bit different for those, but it's still, like I said, it's still, <laughs> it's, color payoff is fine. So it's still working. My Mana Kadar Fantasy Bronzer. I have four uses on this. I hit pan in this a long time ago as an eyeshadow. I did, I didn't take progress photos cause you know, I don't do that. So I think I did, with those four uses, make the pan a little bit bigger, but of course when you're using it as a bronzer, you use a much bigger brush. Once I'm finished working on the one bronzer I'm trying to finish, that'll probably, I will be trying to complete that because I don't think there's that much product in there. Then I have this duo from Pacifica. It's like a blush duo, but the one is more of a bronzery tone. This one is more bronzery, so that's what I use it for and I use that as a blush. Let's see, this is the shade, this is Beaming, and this is Tender Heart. I've used Beaming four times and Tender Heart five times. I would just really be happy if I could hit pan. I don't know that you'll be able to tell, but I feel like I can just see the faintest, like, impression of the rings on this side. I mean, I've had this for a long time. I did use it quite a bit when I first got it, when I didn't have as much makeup, so... There is some use on it. Will I finish them? Probably not. Will I hit pan? I really hope so. Then I have my e.l.f. Moonlight Pearls Baked Highlighter. I've been using this since I finished the eyeshadow I was using. Oh, I guess this is a spoiler alert because I, <laughs> I don't think I updated this. This Because I don't think I updated Throwback 30 yet for this prompt. But anyway, I finished the eyeshadow that I was using as my brow bone highlight. So now I've been using this every day. It's, I mean, this is a baked product. So I've got 23 uses on this for now. I'm not going to finish it, but we'll see how much use, how much I can get gone before the end of this project. Then I'm, I haven't decided to to declutter this quite yet, but if I can't make it work with some Duraline before the next update, then I probably will just end up tossing it because it's drying out. This is my Super Shock Shadow in Special Delivery. I hit pan on it quite a long time ago. It's a really pretty shade, but like I said, it is... I mean, I think you can see that it's just... Well, you know what? Why don't we just experiment right now? I've got my Duraline. I'm just going to do a drop. Then we'll see. Because if it still works with a drop of Duraline, I'm fine with that. It's just because it's a color that I really like. If it was a color I didn't care about as much, I would, I would not care that much. 
Okay, that's with the Duraline. Yeah, so I can still get it to work. We'll see if that I can get that to translate on my eyes. But with the Dura, Duraline, no Duraline. So yeah, it's definitely, definitely dried out. But then I have this cream pigment from Hikari in the shade Latte. Again, another like, Ipsy thing. I have not used up this much it at some point a couple years ago it just exploded <laughs> and I threw everything else away but everything that was left stuck in the pan I saved so I've only used this three times <laughs> it's pretty and even for being a what they call a cream pigment it's still really it's really pigmented and beautiful I just have not been using it now this is the item I am decluttering. This is my Julep When Pencil Met Gel Eyeliner in Smoky Taupe Shimmer. This is so old that even using it just on my lower waterline, it was irritating my eyes too much. So I've used it five times before it like went really bad. So that one is getting decluttered. I have in my first update decluttered one other item. So I'm down to 19 items. <laughs> Nothing's been finished. I've just thrown things away so far. Next, I have my ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade DTLA. It's like a dark... I don't know why I just did that because you can't see. You just see the white packaging. It's a dark navy. This is how much I have left. And of course, so I have to be very careful with it. But theoretically, I can get this done. It, it still has color payoff. It is pretty dry though so I use I oh my gosh this is broken I only do this on my lower waterline because one it's just I need to put too much pressure to tight line and two it transfers which I don't like so I just use it on my lower waterline I've got 12 uses on that in the project then I have this ColourPop Supernova Shadow and Hard to Impress I I don't know should I, I don't know if I should just declutter this one too. It's, you know what? I'm just going to do it. This is what it looks like. It's not dried out. It's just patchy and bad. So I'm going to throw it away. So that's three things that I'm finished with. I don't, cannot find a pen. Oh my gosh. Can you tell that I literally haven't filmed in, I don't even know how long it's been whatever. It's been a long time, so it's like I have no idea how to act in front of a camera anymore. Now I gotta find all my lippies, because I got a lot of lippies in this project. The first lippy I have is this ColourPop Lip Gloss, the Ultra Glossy Lip in Well Nested. This is part of their Bye Bye Birdie collection. I started up here. I'm down to here. I think I did take the stopper out of this. Yes, I did. So I've taken the stopper out. I've got 10 uses on this. So yeah, my goal obviously is going to be to finish. I don't, it shouldn't be a problem. I thought I heard a cat starting to puke. This one, this has been in my purse, so I, yeah, it's been on its side. This is the Ultra Glossy Lip in Ipsy VIP. And when I started, it was here. I've only got four uses on it, but you know, it's been in my purse. It's been on its side. It's not settled. I don't. I can't imagine four uses would have made much of a difference, but obviously my goal is to finish that one as well. I cannot tell. This is Sonia Kashuk again in Alluring Azalea. I started here. Again, I've only got four uses on it. Cannot make a new mark. Then I've got this NYX Butter Lipstick in Ripe Berry. I've got four uses on it. There's no way in... H-E double hockey sticks that I am finishing this. <laughs> oh, that's so dorky. Oh my God. I apologize, everybody. That was super dork. There's no way I'm finishing that. I've only got four uses on it, but I'm going to keep it in until the end of the year and see how much I can get, how much use I can get on. <sighs> then I have my ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Clam Bag. Again, a ColourPop product that is broken. Shocking to everyone, I know. 
this looks a little inappropriate so you're just gonna have to <laughs> forgive me <laughs> for that but I accidentally like mushed the top this is how much I have left in here I've got four uses on it and as you can see I'm winding winding and that is why it's broken because I have to push it down if I wind it up too much so maybe I should stop winding it up all the way that would be smart um, the last lippy is this Maybelline lipstick in Plum Paradise. I'm not going to declutter it quite yet, but I just, I don't foresee myself using this very much. I mean, I'm not obviously swatching everything, but there it is. I just, I don't know. I'm not reaching for it, and it's not really the, the time of year for this either. Why? Whatever. Oh my god. This is a Hot Mess Express of a video. And then I have the last item, my Zoya Pixie Dust Nail Polish in China. I've only used this once in the three months that this project has been going. So yeah. Well, that is it. Uh, this took a really long time because I am very rusty. So I'm just going to take some pictures of things that I'm decluttering and throw them in at the end because I just don't. I, this video is already long enough. You don't need to like see, I'm getting rid of this and I'm getting rid of that. Like, I know you don't care that much. Actually, I'm just going to lay everything out in one thing, in one shot and take a picture. <laughs> It'll be way easier for me. You don't care. Anyway, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're staying safe and sane and healthy, having a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye. And here are the 46 things that I'm getting rid of. Four puzzles, one felt toy, 11 stuffed animals, a diaper bag, a sheet for a pack and play, a bath mat, five pairs of shoes and boots, 13 skeins of yarn, three plastic cups, two silicone ice trays, and then all these candle things each package counts as one, so I have a pack of votives, a pack of tea lights, and then in the box are some tea light holders from our wedding that we do not need anymore. So here's my 46 items.